All right, so here we go. I have to roll myself a Junko. So I can, uh, you know, puff away. But uh, before I started to record, I did a bit of uh, searching to, you know, find myself a hint and landmark, if you will. It took me a bit of analyzing the video, but... Just take those, you know, go to Glow State, the, the side with the two bridges, go to this little island over here, and just swim. Once you know, it's easy. But man, did I rage. It's supposed to be here somewhere. It's a giant wooden... Oh no, I'm a bit off. Oh dear, did I lose it again? Let me use a potion of breathing water because, uh... Do I have a potion to breathe on the water? I suppose not. Oh, here it is. Master too. Okay, interesting. It's around here, you know, in this little circle over here. Sure, make me rage like a boss. Took me some time and a bit of raging, but then we got something. I think I just make a bit of uh, over hours, if you will, when it comes to gaming. Especially due to the fact I'm not getting paid, you know. It's miraculously that I still work 12 to 16 hours a day, uploading like a boss, recording like a boss, you know. Schedule videos in like a boss. And sometimes I get easily triggered, you know. But in the end, I always bite through. With a bit of help here and there. Of multiple things, whether it's searching things or, you know, some uh, relaxation. But well, a sincere apologies for the raging. You know, it's gonna make me look bad, bad a bit. But I still don't care. Till he comes out. Victory is yours. I submit. Come on. Ah! We're routed. Fall back. <laughs> Come on. Scratch. I can't ah! best you. Ah! I can't best you. Ah! 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 
The skies, traveler. Need a drink? You go to the bee and bar. Out of the ragged flagon. Stay out of the rat say, Ulfric Stormcloak. Don't suppose you'd enchant my sword. He's teaching me all about being a blacksmith. I used to live at the orphanage here in Riften. Grelad said my ma and my da left me there when I was a baby. They didn't want me. Not a thief. Yeah, I'm not gonna hunt for another one. Although I like the booty. Give me the loot. Fuck that. I got better things to attend to. Why are you shitting me? Four hours sleep and well where is it? Wow. I am your sword and your shield. These are surely active. I cannot best you. God, no mercy. You call it. What in the name of... Really? I wrote that off a long time ago. Well, I suppose I need to fulfill my end of the bargain. Give this document to Vol. It frees him from the debt, but I never want to see him in Riften again. is to smile at your passing. <laughs> this is Mercer Frey's place and he don't like visitors. Go away. Of mine? What is it? I can't 
believe it. How'd you talk her into this? Never mind, I, I don't care. I'm just glad I don't got to work for Maven anymore. Here, you did me a favor. I guess I owe you one. Good man. there. Hmm. Nothing here after all. Not a tick of Skyrim. He's looking at me. I know I heard something. Must be my imagination. Kill him. Talks to me like Go that. Go to college, Dar said. Use your smarts, he said. There's someone there. Looks like we've got a cut skulking around. What was that? Skyrim Logix 101 
first clean the house before I go into this. Yeah, damn it. Ah, uh, sneaky, sneaky, that's how we got in. Or not. Well, we got evidence. That done is finally done. So, you're Brynjolf's new protege, eh? Don't look like much to me. As you command, my thane. We've scoured the town and I've spoken to every contact we have left. No sign of Mercer. Any luck on your end? Shore's beard? He's going after the eyes of the Falmer? That was Gallus' pet project. If he gets his hands on them, you can be certain he'll be gone for good. And set up for life. Agreed. He's taken everything the guild has left, and to go after one of the last greatest heists is just an insult. I've spoken to Carlia and made amends for how the guilds treated her. Now she wishes to speak with both of us. Quickly, we have no time to lose. Perhaps we meet one. Not now, lad. Carlia said it was important. Carlia 
said it was important. Brynjolf, the time has come to decide Mercer's fate. Until a new guildmaster is chosen, the decision falls to you. I lost, but I've come to a decision. Mercer Frey tried to kill both of you. He betrayed the guild, murdered Gallus, and made us question our future. Everything I heard in the stories. The Nightingales, their allegiance to Nocturnal, and the Twilight Sepulchre. That's why we need to prepare ourselves and meet Mercer on all cool footing. Just outside of Rifton, beyond the southeast gate is a small path cut up the mountainside. At the end of that path is a clearing and an old standing stone. I'd ask you both to meet him there. I have to wonder, what does the Dragonborn do once he's summoned by the Greybeards? Can the Thun be taught like any skill? I'm glad you're here. This is the headquarters of the Nightingales, cut into the mountainside by the first of our kind. We've come to seek the edge we need to defeat Mercer Frey. If you'll follow me, I'll try to explain on the way. Gallus, Mercer Frey and I were once members of what's known as the Nightingale Trinity. The Trinity disbanded 25 years ago when Mercer Frey betrayed us by slaying Gallus and dumping his body in the ruins of Snowvale Sanctum. Indirectly. The Trinity is usually selected from the ranks of the Guild, although its existence is a closely guarded secret. The Nightingales protect the Temple of Nocturnal, a place known as the Twilight Sepulchre. She's the mistress of night and darkness, and the patron of every thief in Tamriel. Nocturnal isn't one for worship and reverence. There are no priests and no sermons, no services, and no arms. She influences our luck, and in return, demands payment. You're closer to understanding than you realize. The only difference is she doesn't demand payment in the traditional sense, and sometimes the cost can be quite high. Whether you know it or not, Nocturnal dictates how well we perform as rogues. Again, you have to think differently. Haven't you ever noticed how our luck behaves? Like a novice picking an impossible lock, or a blind man suddenly turning to face you as you reach for his pocket. It's through these subtle means that Nocturnal influences us. Nocturnal's whim is the greatest mystery to everyone. There have been volumes written on the subject. Does she exact payment when we die? When we suffer, does she revel in our misery? No one knows. The return certainly seems worth the risk, though. It's my hope that you will, yes. This way, please. It's just ahead. Please, keep... ...following.
So this is Nightingale Hall. I heard about this place when I joined the guild, but I never believed it existed. The assumption that the Nightingales were just a myth was seeded within the guild on purpose. It helped divert attention from our true nature. What's wrong, Grignon? I can almost hear you growl furrowing. I'm trying to understand why I'm here, lass. I'm no priest, and I'm certainly not religious. Why pick me? This isn't about religion, Grignon. It's business. This is Nightingale Hall. You're the first of the uninitiated to set foot inside in over a century. Now, if you'll both proceed to the armory to don your Nightingale armor, we can begin the oath. Time's wasting, and Mercer's still out there. Let's get this shot. Wow! That's a few of you hesitant to don your Nightingale armor. Let's try it. still out there. Let's get this show on the road. Beautiful arm for an assassin. You appear ready for the oath. This is enough to make your head spin, eh? That doesn't give. You appear ready for the oath. Okay, lass, we've got these get ups on. Now what? Beyond this gate is the first step in becoming a nightingale. Whoa there, lass. I appreciate the armor. But becoming a Nightingale, that was never discussed. To hold any oath of defeating Mercer, we must have Nocturnal at our backs. If she's to accept you as one of her own, an arrangement must be struck. What sort of arrangement? I need to know the terms. The terms are quite simple, Grignon. Nocturnal will allow you to become a Nightingale and use your abilities for whatever you wish. And in return, both in life and in death, you must serve as a guardian of the Twilight Sepulchre. Aye, there's always a catch. But at this point, I suppose there isn't much to lose. If it means the end of Mercer Frey, you can count me in. What about you? Are you ready to transact the oath with Nocturnal? Good. After I open the gate, please stand on the Western Circle. We should trust the lass and take the deal. This is enough to make your head spin, eh? I think we should trust the lass and take the deal. Mercer's still out there. Let's get this show on the road. I call upon you, Lady Nocturnal, Queen of Murk, and Empress of Shadow. Hear my voice. Ah, Carlia. I was wondering when I'd hear from you again. Lose something, did we? 
come before you to throw myself upon your mercy and to accept responsibility for my failure. You're already mine, Carlyle. Your terms were struck long ago. What could you possibly offer me now? I have two others that wish to transact the oath, to serve you both in life and in death. You surprise me, Carlyle. This offer is definitely weighted in my favor. My appetite for Mercer's demise exceeds my craving for wealth, Your Grace. Revenge? How interesting. Very well. The conditions are acceptable. You may proceed. Lady Nocturnal, we accept your terms. We dedicate ourselves to you as both your Avengers and your Sentinels. We will honor our agreement in this life and the next until your conditions have been met. Very well. I name your initiates Nightingale, and I restore your status to the same, Carlisle. And in the future, I'd suggest you refrain from disappointing me again. I suggest now you talk to transacted the oath, it's time to reveal the final piece stuff. of the puzzle to you. Mercer's true crime. Mercer was able to unlock the guild's vault without two keys because of what he stole from the Twilight Sepulchre, the Skeleton Key. By doing this, he's compromised our ties to Nocturnal, and in essence, caused our luck to run dry. Well, yes, but the key isn't only restricted to physical barriers. All of us possess untapped abilities, the potential to wield great power securely sealed within our minds. Once you realize the key can access these traits, the potential becomes limitless. Although it would benefit the guild more than you can imagine, in the end it would do more harm than good. If the key isn't returned to its lock in the Twilight Sepulchre, things will never be the same for the guild. As time passed, our luck would diminish to the point of non-existence. And whether you know it or not, our uncanny luck defines our trade. Very true. In our line of work, it's quite rare we set out to return a stolen item to its rightful owner. Before we depart, Brynjolf has some business to discuss. I suggest you listen to him. Listen, lad. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go out. Listen, lad. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. The leadership of the guild. Carlia and I had a long discussion before you arrived here. Thanks to your efforts, Mercer's treachery has been exposed. After we deal with him, all that remains is restoring the guild to its full strength. As a result, we both feel that you have the potential of replacing Mercer as leader of the Thieves' Guild. I've been at this game a long time, my friend. A long time. I've stolen trinkets from nobles and framed priests for murder. I'm good at what I do, maybe even one of the best, but it's all I know. I've never been one to lead. Never desired it, never cared for it, don't want it. Well, we have a bit of an errand to run before your coronation, so don't get sentimental on me, Al. Then it's decided. When this is all over and Delvin's contacts assure me that we've regained our footing in Skyrim, we'll handle the details. Until then, we have quite the task ahead. I've been poring over the plans you brought us, and I'm convinced the eyes of the Falma are in the Dwarven ruins at Urkenthat. Carlia and I will meet you there. Prepare yourself, lad. This will be a fight to remember. Aye. And some of what Carlia said is starting to make sense. Mercer may have damaged our reputation and raided our coffers. This goes well beyond even his twisted form of larceny. Old Delvin kept calling it a curse, and we all laughed at him. Looks like the joke's on us. 
If you would have asked me that yesterday, I'd have said no. But now I think our chances have improved. Look, call me crazy if you like, but I trust Carlia. I don't think she'd lead us down a suicidal path. Besides, I'd rather die with some of Mercer's blood on my blade than spend the rest of my life regretting that I ran the other way. Until next we meet, Lyle. Consider this your home. You'll find that this place offers many things that will help you in your endeavors, as well as a wealth of information for you to learn. Once the skeleton key has been restored to the Twilight Sepulchre, I'll make this place my home as well. With the skeleton key missing from the Twilight Sepulchre, I'm afraid Merce has seen to it that none of us can benefit from Nocturnal's gifts. You merely transacted the oath. Signed the unwritten contract with Nocturnal. In order for us to receive our abilities, our end of the bargain, I'm afraid the key must be returned. If Nocturnal was truly displeased with me, with any of us, she wouldn't have answered my call. I have no doubt that we still hold her favor, and I believe it gives us enough of an edge to defeat Mercer Frey. Sorry, lad. I've got important things to do. Let's speak another. 